Hi, I want to give you my May 2022 market review. I get all my information from uh, Denver Metro Association of Realtors and Nicole Ruth, who's with Barry Mortgage. She's on the stats team and she did a recording of, of the compiling all of the stats that came out for May. So all that information is coming from her. So compared to April of 2022, there were 197 more homes sold in May than in April. And then also 631 more homes went pending in May than they did in April. So this is interesting. Despite those numbers that went up, there were 72% less homes that came on the market, meaning we had leftover inventory. So they had um, 72 less homes to choose from. At the end of May is when they do their count. The very last day in May, which I think was on a Tuesday, there was 3,652 homes for people to choose from on the market, 3,652. So that's a 76% jump from last year, which is a lot, and a 14% jump from May. So remember, interest rates dropped 0.5% at the last part of May. And maybe that got some people deciding, well, they better get going before the interest rate could possibly go up again. But just so you know, with those, all those numbers, so in the May, there's 5,445 homes sold. So to make a balanced market, meaning it's fair for both buyers and sellers, we always have said, in the 26 years I've been doing this, that you need six months of inventory. And I do remember when it took eight to 10 months to sell a house. That sounds crazy right now. But to have then, if, if 5,445 homes sold in May to make a balanced budget, that means that we need 32,670 homes on the market. 32,670 homes on the market. And at the end of May, we had 3,652. Supply and demand is still affecting our market. So of those listings in May, 8.3% made adjustment to their price before they went pending. And that's compared to 6.9% in May of 2021. So 8.3% this year in May, had to make a price adjustment before they went pending, and last year it was 6.9. And my guess is, and I actually experienced this with one of my listings, is that if they back to a busy street, which mine did, um, had an uncommon floor plan, or maybe had some deferred maintenance, that could be why. I also see some realtors are put, pricing their homes at the uh, increased price, for the close, instead, you know, the list price, they went, if they went 50,000 over, then they look at that to do, to start where they're gonna price a home. And you just can't do that right now. So, um, meaning with all that, what I wanna say is buyers, it's a great time to get out there and buy a home. The interest rate they're suggesting, or they're saying, predicting that it's probably gonna stay in the fives um, through 2022. And then also, um, when you go out and write an offer, you probably won't have be competing with maybe 15 or 20 offers. Now maybe you're only competing with three or five offers. So um, just so you know, the list price versus the sold price was up 105.33%. And for any homes over 1 million, the, price, the close versus list price was 107.12%. So we only have 5.33% over anything that was under a million and anything over a million, it was only 7.12% versus what you've been hearing could be 10, 15, 20% over that list price. So, um, you know, sellers put your home on the market, buyers go out and buy because it's not quite as competitive. In fact, it's just not as competitive as it was just two months ago. Um, please call me if you have any questions. would be happy to answer any of those. And um, happy hunting and happy selling.